What's up guys, this is Shyx and today I'm going to be showing you how I personally create 3D text using Cinema 4D and Photoshop since a lot of you requested a tutorial on this on Twitter. Jumping right into it, first of all everything you need in order to recreate this exact sort of text can be found in the video description so make sure to check it out. Leading us to this template can find in the description as well. I'm using my favorite font which is Deutsch Gothic at the moment and if you want your 3D text to look like this you should really consider downloading it as well. Now you can just drag and drop the material and put it on the text so we end up having this reflective texture and next up I will just adjust the color real quick so it matches the theme of the new thumbnail this text is supposed to be used for. Something you should keep in mind is to use saturated colors as well because it really makes the text look better in the end. And that's pretty much it for the Cinema 4D part. So you just gotta find a position for your camera and then press render. After importing the text in Photoshop, first thing we want to do is to kind of fix graphic errors that were created during the rendering process. You can also kind of blur these spots. After fixing all this, we can add some lighting. It's actually pretty self-explanatory, so you can just try to follow me right through and try to copy what I'm doing here. You can basically just select the standard brush by the way, doesn't really matter. And we basically want to fill out every second one because by doing so we can easily erase without erasing a whole letter that makes sense. So for this layer we only want to do the C, the I and the S and for this one we'll do the L and the P. And as I just said, we can now erase what's left over and kind of try to make it look more realistic. Now it should kind of look like this. What we want to do now is merge all these layers and then select overlay and in this case I think it's really gonna help a lot to just copy this layer again. Um, now we're doing the layer style. We're selecting color dodge putting the opacity to about 40 and the size really depends on how bright the color is you chose for your tech. Now we can also add a gradient overlay, select overlay as well and put some colors that are somewhat darker, basically just adding some more color. In this case I'm using some sort of wine red, coloring the bottom part. I'm adding some black to the very bottom part. And you want to copy the original layer twice. After copying the original layer, we open the filter gallery and put a chrome effect on it. Make sure to select color dodge again. Then you just kind of erase some of the edges. When you're done fixing the chrome effect, you can select this oil effect. I don't really know what it's called in English, but I'm sure you're gonna find it. You can just pause for a second and copy all my settings. I basically put them all to 10. And sometimes you can see these sort of glitches and I normally just erase them. And from now on, the very last step is merge all the layers and copy it again and then you can add some sort of blur it doesn't really matter which one in this case I'm adding a motion blur and then you can just erase some of it you can create even more depth if it's really dark like if you have a dark background you can also add some kind of glow
you can see that it's kind of glowy which is an effect i often use as well that's it guys you can also hit us up on twitter send some examples of what you did i hope you're having a great day have fun with this and see you next time